Hi everybody, this is Casey Wallace back here at the Conscious Life Expo as we are continuing our journey into expansiveness with the most extraordinary people, some that we already know, others that maybe we're getting to know for the first time, but always bringing to you through the television network, expansion network, expansive information and opportunities. Um, in this instance, I am with a friend of mine already, Adrian Valero, and this is one of his fabulous cards and business cards. And Adrian, let's talk a little bit about what you do. What is your utter magnificence that you bring towards everybody? Oh, wow. <laughs> well, first of all, thanks for having me, Casey. I'm really delighted to be here. Super honored. Um, so yeah, we're talking about Disclosure Fest Foundation today, which is our community and initiative-based nonprofit. Yes. And this is something that we started um, in 2017, only four years old. I, I have to interject here really quick. So the first thing that I want to say is Adrian is the one of the most humble people that I have met thus far in this industry. Disclosure Fest is not a small thing. It's huge. In fact, as a practitioner, it's like, I want to be part of Disclosure Fest with this guy named Adrian. Like, does anybody Aww. know who he is? I don't know that you're fully aware of how the business buzzes about certain people, and you're among the buzz, wow. really. Amazing. To hear. And so I want to let you continue your story, but I really want everybody to get a grasp of we're not talking about a small thing here. We're talking about something that is very, very large, very productive, very successful, and that it just keeps continuing. And I know it's because of your energy. Oh, so tell everybody, you. okay, so we started Disclosure Vest in like 2017? Yeah, 2017 through a you know divinely guided download from Spirit. Yeah. And it's requesting that I put something else on hold and pursue this. Okay. And, um, you know, one of my things throughout my life has always been surrender. Have you, are you, has that been easy for you or has it been a challenge for you to do that? Um, throughout the years it's been getting better and better, but this has been a full surrender to being of service. I, I think that, um, I, I totally agree with you on what you're talking about. And I do think that we get kind of tested, like our network was that for us. When we, I'm getting this download too, for wow. some Julius that I talk about, create this television network, yeah. create this television network, I'm like, okay, how about a radio show? How about a <laughs> podcast? They're like, mm, mm, mm. And, and like you, Adrian, I'm like, okay, so I could be a hypocrite here and be up there on stage channeling Julius, bringing everybody their empowerment and not even listening to Julius, my own self. Right. Right? You can easily do that. And you make that decision of that surrender point and I have found that a lot of times it's on something kind of massive yeah. like it's not a parking spot yeah right <laughs> it's something that really yeah. does kind of push us towards that creative parameter for ourselves yes. right yes so I love that you just said that you worked on surrender and that first of all I talk, this is why this event is so successful because it came as a download to you yeah. and that you surrendered to it basically kind of without question and then just thinking I guess I just got to figure out how to put this thing together right right, right. Um, and it's and it's it's really really interesting because it started out as a 40 our first capacity was, I mean, not capacity, the first attendance was like 4,300 people. And, and then the year after, it reached um, almost 11,000 people. And then we decided to bring it to Washington, D.C., and we brought it to the Lincoln Memorial, and we had a stage on the steps of Lincoln, and all of our workshop spaces on the JFK field, and another 20,000 people. And then last year was our third one in LA and we, we reached 22,000 people. <laughs> and now this year we're gonna reach capacity at 30,000 people. And the, the whole thing about this is, is donation based. It's like a completely different, every year on December is when I get my download for what the meaning of the next year is. And during this download, period I ask is this the year we charge 
people, I mean, I mean, this is not a cheap event to do. No. You know, this is a massive 32 massive. acres. Yes. 16 workshop spaces, four stages. It's it's a lightning in the bottle or a mini Coachella. Um, and yeah, so every year Spirit's like, keep this free and donation based because it's a healing experience for the community, how they choose to show up. And, what's, and of course the irony in all of that is making possibly more money because of that. This new You're model. communicating trust to that person, yeah. honor to that person. I mean, we obviously know that that may not 100% be the case, but you've actually found that that's not true. It's pretty much 100% of the case that somebody gives something, right? No, no, it's interesting. It's very, it's a lot, most people, oh, it's a free ticket? I'm gonna grab that free ticket. So what Spirit said, just be patient and surrender to it. And luckily my mom is at the gate last year. So I would not have his known mom, this. His mom's at the gate. So, I love that his mom's at the gate. Yeah, so my mom's at the gate. I would not have known this if she wasn't, but she told me over 400 people that came in for free and made it back to the gate and donated because then they said they can't be in here for free. And that was just such, oh my God, that was the really, it made me really understand it. Um, let's, let's talk for a moment. I want to continue this yeah, because, yeah. because that is really a hard thing to trust, Adrian. It, uh, I want to emphasize, we're talking about an event on a very large scale. We're not talking about a little fair or a little arts and crafts show that maybe is going to cost you a five thousand dollars to put on and you figure if nobody pays well I can chalk it up to a write-off this year or something this is this is the mother load of trusting that this is gonna work right and there's and no it just ticket does. price and it just does work yeah. <laughs> I, lo I love that so, but, but really it's, it's it's about getting the community together um, at 2 p.m. we have a mass meditation that, which is now one of the biggest mass meditations in the world outside of China and India. And it's the largest health and wellness event in the United States in four short years. So it's all about getting people together in one place, remembering unity consciousness. Demonstrating it and expanding it. And expanding it. it. That's what you're doing. Okay, you're yeah. not just posting this. You're demonstrating what it is we're all talking about right. in all of our intention of what we're yeah. doing. And you're expanding it. Very okay? Nice. That's uh, super and cool. And a lot of it's just remembering, you know, like so many, we're in this matrix and we're, you know, running around and little hamster wheels and it's, we're all, it's, we're all good about it, you know? Um, at the end of the day, it's a lot of just forgetting that this grand remembering is like ready, we're ready for it again. We've done so much shadow work through all these timelines, and now we're here in this ascension, like acceleration, the gates are open. The ascension gates are open. Now. We're all supporting that. Mm -hmm. We're all really supporting that. And it means different things for different people. Yeah. Um, of course, because that's what it's designed for. But you've basically got a, you know, a tsunami wave of momentum behind anything you're doing. Yeah. Whether that kind of be good or bad, meaning some people are just letting go of yeah. old crap and that's oh, washing yeah. that all out. And others who have already kind of done that, like right. yourself, it's picking, that's, a, that's that rocket fuel. You've got rocket fuel behind you now. Julius describes that as, there are dimensions in a dimension there are realms realms is a dimension governed and the astral plane above that dimension or in each dimension feeds that dimension thought possibility yeah. and there normally is one quantum ribbon of energy in an astral plane and currently there's three 
Wow. Okay. So one could transfer that to three times the possibility, three times the energy, three times the potential, three times the whatever. If you have the opportunity to just amplify anything in your life by three, that'd be pretty good odds alone. Right. But you're talking about this being a quantum field of energy, which yeah. means there's three ribbons of unlimited potential. Wow, beautiful. Right? That makes so much sense. Yeah, and that's where we're at right now. Which it, is awesome. Which also means that the second we're thinking of something, we are already manifesting. Right. And when we get 30,000 people seeing the same change together and another 50,000 on a live stream, yeah. Yeah. it's like politicians and elections can't no. even come close to that. To be part of Disclosure Fest, you certainly need to be. Um, Adrian, uh, we, we showed the card. Tell everybody, when is the Disclosure Fest coming up? So the next one in LA is uh, June June 20th, 2020, so 6 20, 2020. Okay, and then do you have others in 2020 as well? Um, it's gonna, we're, we're working on Central Park, New York in, okay. in October, mm -hmm. so that's just okay. kind of like in the seating process. Okay. Um, one thing I really want to talk about is when this download came through about the festival it was all about getting people into a place where an activation can take place right um, 40 to 50 percent of the people that come have never seen a yoga mat practice meditation and um, introduce plant-based diets so these are people that are like on that bird that cusp of remembering you know and this is very much one of those activation transformational events. Um, and then that's just one initiative out of six that we have. So this is your activation initiative, okay? And then on the weekends, after, the, after each um, mass meditation, that's when you come and join us on our clean air initiative where we plant trees, restore forests and waterways, our beach and river cleanup initiative where we pick up um, you know, trash and learn about our marine life and river life. Um, we do our star seed initiative. We go into children's schools with yoga, meditation, sound healing, uh, plant-based foods. We have our um, Feed Our Souls initiative. We do every few months. We go into Skid Rose. We'll feed 750 people, um, all plant-based foods, while meditation, yoga, sound healings, communication workshops. Um, women's space, children's space, all in Skid Row. Most of the children's initiatives that we do in, with Star Seeds, these are schools where half the children are homeless or, or suffering or dealing with some sort of poverty. And we bring that, they're, they're seeing so much trauma at home. And then when they come, when we come, it's so healing for them to like recalibrate. Yeah. But then it's also healing for the community. Each one of our initiatives is designed to activate a different ascension key. So when we're working with our children, it's really tapping into your inner child, you know, and working with child wounding. And it's it's so it's 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 giving, but it's also receiving. Well, it, 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 ultimately, we all teach we're all connected. Yes. We're all the same energy. You yes. could say we're all the same soul, fractalized yes. out, right? Yes. Also, I know that um, it's very well known that poverty is generational. It's a thought process. It's an accepted thought process. It's an accepted style frame. And if you can crack that for these kids, and energetically it breaks that cycle yeah. and provides a possibility yeah. for a different perspective which creates your reality yeah. for you. So the rippling effect of this so is phenomenal. Yeah. Like you said, that wave folds back into itself because that's how reality is, yeah. and it affects the authentic origin of where yeah. that came. I mean, it, you basically you can't miss. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you a story. We did our Feed Our Souls initiative um, six months ago in Skid Row, and we had one of our. We, we always have a mass meditation there with our homeless community, and this is hundreds and hundreds of homeless brothers and sisters and um, it was so beautiful because the day after our event um, one of our brothers called us back who was talking to another dear homeless brother that's been um, his name is pepper great great beautiful man 
he told me that the day after five people woke up from their their, their evening um, and shared that they had the exact same dream about a new earth and they were sleeping in different blocks and they woke up and they didn't even know what a new earth would be they just all had this exact same dream and one of the downloads was a lot of the our homeless populations are actual suppressed light workers i totally know that i do know that in fact a lot of them they're just struggle so much with living in the third dimensional matrix of fear right. and scarcity that they've just extracted themselves from that energy because they can't they can't operate in it yeah. and they'd rather operate in this field yeah. given a choice that's great news because that means that there is an actual choice oh, happening yeah. there right yeah, yeah. To be able to re-support and honor their contribution to everything is pretty cool yeah right so um is it disclosurefest.com what's the website uh, disclosurefest.org yeah come join us at the festival, act, get your activation on. It's so beautiful. And then come join us on the weekends in being of service, which is a whole nother activation within itself. Yeah. A whole nother remembering. What's next? Do you, do you have these even more I want to tour it. Yeah. I want to tour this worldwide. Okay. And uh, then what's next is a, a, a record company um, with, with all conscious music and, and management and and touring this yeah because it's it's frequency yeah. right it's all frequency i was having that conversation with somebody a musician and if you're a musician out there really be mindful of what your lyric content is because there's children inside their bedrooms dissecting your music and what's out there today in the music industry is very suppressive uh, misogynistic a lot of times programmed to be mostly just family dynamics and, and relationship dynamics Let's really let our audience know about more conscious mindfulness um, in music. It's a huge podium. It's one of my messages. Thank you, Adrian, yeah, for everything you for you're doing. Me. Thank all of you for continuing to check out these um, interviews that we're doing, these connectedness that we're doing. Please check out Adrian's website and get the information that you may be looking for, but really come out to the experience. It will change your life. It can, contributes to changing everybody else's life. If you're watching this type of programming, we know you're in our wheelhouse, okay? And this is one of those magnificent experiences that you're gonna have that's going to continue to inspire this wheelhouse to keep turning for you, right? Right, exactly, thank you. Thanks everybody for being with us. Thank you.